and so ends a trilogy. If you liked the first one, 8 out of 10. He gave it 8 out of 10. I'm giving it 9 out of 10. I'm saying go see it in the movie theater. It's worth it. But, yeah. It went in on a high note, and it went out on a high note. And strangely enough, it went out on the same damn song. <laughs> Which actually made me tear up hearing the song that started the whole thing. Oh, and in the credits, stay for the credits, there are two after credit scenes. One's really hilarious. And then the other one... Pay attention to the newspaper. You'll get a laugh. But beyond that, it is... If you love animals, any kind of animals, I'm already doing that, it's horrifying. Knowing what Rocket went through and what the other animals did. And what got me was hearing a cat yowling, you know, in pain. And I'm just like, oh. So I had an outright weep, but I did this. I was doing the <laughs> tear, tear. Um, so be prepared for that. If that kind, because you don't see anything. You, you, they don't show anything. So, you hear it. In the hearing... Sorry. I think hearing it's far worse. But beyond that, it's... It's a ragtag group of people getting together to help save their friend. So, it, it's... More or less kind of like the first one. Um... Ragtag group of people get together. You have added people into it. You got Craglin and you've got Cosmo. Great. Um, was there anybody else new in this? Other than, you know, the people I'm not going to talk about. Um, Sylvester Stallone makes a show. He's in it. Michael Rosenbaum. Which, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, <laughs> Only because I met him once at a club med, and there's a hilarious story behind that. I will never tell it on the internet, because if he ever finds it, he'll get pissed. So, <laughs> it was funny seeing him in it, and knowing how much of a geek he is for comic books, and knowing he's playing a guardian, or not a guardian, he's playing a ravager. It's just hilarious, because he was in the last one, too, and it's just, it looks so much more like him. And it's just like, <sighs> he's also a huge Star Wars fan. But, um, yeah, it was, I mean, what else can you say? Everybody else has said it as best as I can. Can I recommend it for kids? There are a couple of swear words. There is. Um, appropriately so. And quite naturally. Like, yeah, I mean, they're said just the way I would have said it. Um, I think Groot swears a couple of times, but I am Groot. Uh... But yeah, definitely stick around for the two credit scenes. Beyond that, I think I'm going to keep this short because there's not much else to say other than it was filmed. And like the, the special effects were great. I really didn't see anything that uh, it stood out to me. It, it, it dragged me in. I was so into the movie. Um, we do have some reoccurring creatures that we have seen in previous movies. Um, yeah, no. Other than that, go see it. It's really good. It, and it's a good send-off. He, he, James Gunn did a damn good job uh, giving us a good send-off for the Guardians. Uh, or his Guardians, at least. Because they do continue as Guardians. There, there are, there, there's going to be more Guardian, I'm assuming, movies. Um, so yeah, it, it's just perfect. Ending, you know, like I said, I gave it a nine, Rob gave it an eight, so it's definitely worth seeing it in the theater. Whether you see it, <sighs> if you're really into the Guardians, go see it at IMAX. I think it's kind of worth going to see a late show, but it's worth any of them. Go, go see it in matinee, late show, or IMAX, however you want to see it. It's worth it, but you want to see it on the big screen best possible sound you can get, uh, biggest picture you can get.
which we have a movie called the Center Capri, movie theater called the Center Capri, which is a really big screen and a really good surround sound. So, but yeah, go see it. It's really good. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> I did, and and when you, and, and they make the end credits also entertaining, so it's not boring sitting through it. Uh, there's photographs from all the previous movies, plus other little oddball things. So, enjoy it. Let me know what you thought of it below. See you next time.